everything is kind of exploding right now like my camera just stopped working so i think i'm gonna have to try to shoot on my phone not sure how this is gonna turn out but we're gonna try it hey bb's I posted a poll on my Instagram stories asking if I should do a photo shoot for my birthday, which is in like two weeks. And everyone said yes, which I've never had on a poll. And right now I'm very obsessed with 70s. Like I saw the Renaissance movie and ever since then I've been thinking about Diana Ross. Um, and she's been popping up on my Pinterest board a lot, which is scary because stop knowing my brain uh, Pinterest, but I decided to recreate this Diana Ross photo shoot. Let me show you. I love everything about it. It's so old school 70s, like graduation uh, senior photos and just like glam. So I'm gonna try it. Um, it's raining in Los Angeles, so there's that. I also tried to book a studio and never got a confirmation on the book so at home photo shoot it is so let's try it <laughs> so since i need that blue backdrop and i don't have a blue backdrop i got a navy sheet here and just hung it up on my wall so hopefully this will work all right so it's time to do my makeup start with primer I really like this e.l.f. primer. I put it all over my face. Um, it seems to really make a difference when I wear makeup um, to protect my skin. And it's affordable. Alright, so I let that sit for a few seconds. And then I usually use this Maybelline Fit Me, it's 340, but I just got some new foundation I want to use, which I know I shouldn't be doing because this is a photo shoot, but I'm still going to try it. I'm really trying to find a better match, and I think I'm a cool instead of a warm, and I got this L'Oreal True Match C uh, C6, so let's see if this works. All right, so gonna blend it out and hope for the best <laughs> this is a huge risk but today is risky so let's just go with it one thing I like about Diana Ross is she's the big eye girly like me and she loves eyeliner like me so I'm very excited to do this look again i'm not a makeup pro and i just do the things i know which is not a lot but that's okay i'm researching i usually use this one but i'm trying to expand my horizons and i found this nyx eyeliner so let's see what it do I should put the mascara on, I mean the eyeshadow on first. You rewind, you didn't see that. We're gonna put some eyeshadow on. I also didn't plan for this, as in I didn't go get any new eyeshadows. So um, I have these two from Juvia's Place. This one's the Masquerade palette and this one is the Magic palette. So let's see which one has what. Okay, so this one, I've used both of them. This one has these colors um ooh. look at this one look at this one and look at this one we might be working with some and then these are the colors on this one i think these are two uh bold colors they're not the ones i need so what it looks like she has is 
the light blue on the outside and then the purple on the actual lid. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. So it actually looks like it's the opposite. I took a look at the photo and it looks like it's the blue on the lid and the purple on the outside. <sighs> so let's try. Did I use this? It's called Yamoya. Yamoya, this one. We gonna blame it on the buggy if it goes wrong, y'all. I usually don't wear too much eyeshadow because I don't think it looks that good on me, to be honest. I think uh, my eye can't hold the weight. Look at that. You see how heavy my eye looks now? Which means I usually don't wear it, but we're gonna try, we're gonna try. Oh, so let's try this purple, it's called Fossil. Probably should've put this on first, then blended it up blend out the blue with it or blended it out with the blue but we're gonna blend out the blue with the purple Let's see what happens moonlight blaming on a buggy you didn't hear that Cousin eyeliners, not twins, cousins. Cool, cool, cool. Put a little bit more concealer because, you know, brighten up the eyes. I use Ilia Mascara from Sephora. I love it. I'm just gonna really get in here with the mascara. Okay, so I got this big curly wig from Amazon and I'm not about to curl my whole head, so we gonna, you know, make it do what it do. But I'm gonna use it as a half wig. I'm not gonna put the whole thing on my face. So, I mean, on my head. So, hold on. Okay, so I took the wig and I combed it a bit off camera just to make it, the curls lift less defined. And now I'm about to wand my hair, but I'm losing daylight because I like to shoot in the natural light and I'm gonna go really fast off camera. So be back. Okay, so hair is done. Uh, I just gotta spray it. I use this Garnier Fruity Style Sleek and Shine 24 Hour Hold Hairspray. Hopefully it will hold. But once it dries a bit, I'm gonna tease this part a little bit and then pin it maybe and I'll be ready to go. What do you think? It giving Diana Ross. I'm gonna go get the boa and get set for the photo. Ah! I have my trusty remote and we're gonna take the pictures that way. All right, I'm done with the photo shoot. Uh, I got feathers everywhere, and you know, this hair is giving. Amazon came through. My hair said, I'm tired, Grandpa, but the wig is still giving. So, 10 out of 10. Um, now all there's left to do is go through the photos, see which ones I like, and then post the finished product on my birthday. Ah, stay tuned. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, subscribe. Let me know in the comments how I did with my makeup and the hair and the photo shoot. Um, and stay tuned. So thanks. Bye.